Today it's showing that anybody's watching The Acolyte, season one, episode eight, The Acolyte, which is the finale, and that title has me very stressed that Osha or May, and given that she's with him and put the helmet on last time, that Osha is gonna like go to the dark side and become an acolyte. I am just so intrigued to see where the story ends. I have loved this season. I know it got hate bombed um by people who didn't give it a chance. But I have absolutely loved this show. I've loved that it. it's kind of it's different to things that come before. I've loved the character centric story, um, exploring a different time period in the galaxy. I stand by that it is a much sadder time period because a certain little green guy does not live yet. Um, but I, I've just loved it, and I would love to hear they were making a second season. I have no idea whether in the next forty five minutes or so it's going to come to a conclusion or whether it's going to have a cliffhanger. I like I don't know what to expect but I'm stressed and excited. Maybe more stressed right now, but I'm excited. Let's go. Reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon and let's go. He never let me put it on, oh dear. Ooh, she in his head, like her mother used to. But he is strong. Oop. But the future isn't fixed. Is he now? Like, don't need you. If May can do it for me, then I don't need you. That murdering our mother was justified. Yeah. What happened to you? To your coven was an accident. An accident. If it was an accident, then why didn't you tell Osha? Mm-hmm. Why did you lie to her? You let her believe her sister did it. Why did you blame it on me? You're not even sisters. You're. A she just stunned him, right? Yeah. Okay then. He was about to explain to you that you are one one person with your sister. Are they going to merge somehow? gonna shoot her down? Tractor beam her? I don't know why you would shoot her down right now, but... Basil! When I was both crashing! Back to Brandok. So Ocean wants to stop her from killing Soul. He just wants to rejoin her or get both of them. I don't. I don't trust her. Senator, you think my campaign for an external review of the Jedi is a personal vendetta? The Jedi do need some kind of external review. Good. Claims to control the uncontrollable. We don't control the Force. Not the Force. Your emotions. Mm -hmm. You project an image of goodness and restraint. It's not entirely it's wrong. Time before one of you snaps. And when, not if that happens. See, that is why I do think there needed to be some kind of check and balance system. Because, yes, the Jedi are a force for good. But all it would take is for the leadership to change. And, like, it, it's dangerous for everyone else. Stop them. Senator? But the Jedi shouldn't be demonized either. I hope for your sake you have this suspect in custody by then. I'm sorry she's going to... Good luck. Frame it all on soul or may or I'm sure whichever one you can get. May the force be with you. Did I give you the impression that I was a fair person? Yes, you did. You made a deal with my sister and you expected her to uphold it. That's fair. And so is this. <laughs> oh sure. Last chance. I told you. I'm not my sister. Mm -hmm. You're definitely not. She is tempted, though. She knows the Jedi aren't perfect, and she didn't fit in there. She knows something else happened that night with her family. Is it Mother Pearl? Oh god! I'm not a huge expert, so if I'm meant to know who that was, please tell me. Like, after the episode, I might Google, but like... I, I wish- I want to know more about Star Wars, but... With the combination of being like a late discoverer of it, 
combined with having CFS and EM brain fog with certain things, names and details that aren't like a huge part of things not like slipping away, please tell me. I have a feeling that was meant to be so maybe maybe it's a new person we're meeting. Back where it all started. I want to know how May survived. I guess whoever was hanging out in the cave led the to her. Where is he? Friend up. Prepare my ship. Thing is, the last yeah. thing she's gonna want right now is the admission that Jedi committed a massacre. I mean, again, it's not black and white, but it could look like black and white. Um and covered it up this whole time and that they clearly don't like it proves just how dangerous the jedi are like david harewood senator david harewood would be able to like hold that up as an example she's not going to want this to come to light is she like i feel like her commitment to the jedi is almost it's dangerous should have told the truth It'd be better for everyone in the long run even osha That's how May got. Is that. Yeah. I guess, like, she escaped somewhere down there. So she knew another way in. Because it's the way she found to get out. Home. With the creepy cave thing, I wonder if all along the evil master guy's been the acolyte. Thank you for leading me to her. It's a party. Yep. Everyone's coming. I mean, I don't think May May's gonna, unless does he think if May comes out now and kills Soul the, without weapon, the deal's a deal. She kept the her ideal, forgive her betrayal. Like otherwise, May's gonna stay well clear of this fight because she doesn't want to die. Mm. Well, the sisters found each other. Soul lied to you. He blamed me. Soul never blamed you. He tried to teach me to accept that someone that I love could be capable of this level of destruction. I could never learn to calm and make. Oh god, is she gonna like attack May and kill her, and then find out the truth and kill Soul or something? I just given that the show is called The Acolyte, I feel like it's not gonna have a happy ending, and I'm really stressed. How could he teach you to control your negative emotions? He's the reason you have them. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. You didn't fail. He did. I think it's 16 years of her life is built on this foundation. May should be like, I don't want to fight you. I didn't do this. Like, keep reiterating it. She's giving in to the dark side emotions. Did you get him or just the lightsaber? I mean, the helmet protects you. Though his whole thing is, can you kill a Jedi without one? But Jedi can't attack unarmed people, right? Yep, so May is trying to complete what happened. I mean, given... He saw her standing with a hand outstretched, holding a lightsaber and... She kills... Break them down, and your journey will be complete. I mean, he's doubly the source of her pain in a way. I feel like she's shaking her head. Because he not only killed her mother, but he also told Osha she did it. But she doesn't want to follow that path. Doesn't mean she's going to give Sol a hug. I want him to face the High Council. The Senate. The Republic. I don't think. Pay for his crimes. I think with the green Jedi lady coming, I think he might not even make it to I trial, to or he'll just be put on trial for being the murderer. You are not twins. You and Osha. The master guy's still there. Are the same person. I... 
Yeah, I am you and you are me, and I give you you and you give me me. Use the force to create you and the ocean. Is that news to him? Any idea what kind of power that is? And you killed her. Oof. You killed our mother. Oh, he's gonna confess to the Osha. It's right there. She didn't kill him. I just said this isn't gonna end well. So surely he senses Osha. Is that true? I was protecting you. It was the right thing to do. Keep you saying know. that. Thing to do. Why didn't you tell the Jedi? Of course. I wanted to tell you so many times. But She's extremely angry. I did everything. Because I look. Is she doing that or is it he? Oh, sure. Stop talking. You're losing yourself. Like, yes, he's. He thinks he loves you and he thinks he did the right thing, but he didn't. But this isn't the right thing either. You should have told her the truth. It's okay. Did you say it's okay? He did, because he does love her. Like, I don't think Sol is evil. I don't think he is a bad person. He doesn't even have to die. Uh, like, I, I don't think he's a bad person. I think he believes he did the right thing. I think he believes everything that he said. It doesn't mean it was true. But, yeah. She's giving in to the pain and the anger. Don't do it. it feel better now what good did killing him do she bled the crystal there is a disturbance in the force you you're alive she was his master yep i don't agree i mean i like, I, it, there's like, what, 20 minutes left in the episode, not even that? Like, obviously, like, with another series or whatever, I need Osha to, like, feel bad about killing Sol because I get that she was angry, I get that she's been with someone who's been playing into her dark side emotions, and I also can completely understand lashing out at somebody who, not only you just found that killed your mother, but made you believe your twin sister did it this entire time. Like, I get the rage she was feeling, but nothing excuses killing somebody. And... I had a feeling it wasn't going to end happily ever after. I guess a happily ever after would be her and May escaping at this point and just being on their own, getting to live. But Sol didn't deserve to die, he deserved to answer to the Jedi Council. So when she was falling, she grabbed hold of something or was able to force grab hold of something, like force jump or something? When I fell, I got sucked into this core tunnel. Okay. Come this way. She gonna blame it all on Soul. You did all this when you were little? Yeah. Then what did you do? Yeah. Like how did she get off the planet? Or did the guy find her? Believe me. Sorry I didn't believe you. They deserve to get to be together. What do you want, Osha? Fuck. They should just try and run. Let my sister go and I will train with you. Are you sure? Did you make an attempt to wipe her memory? Remove any trace of you or me. Permanently. Oh my god. Quickly. Like forever? I can't lose you again. 
This is like the worst ending in literally every way. Like, is he wiping her memory of the last five minutes or of like their whole lives? Because maybe that means May would get a fresh start, but. Like, this needs a season two to make right. Soul's dead, that can't be made right, but you know. Like, she did give May a fresh start. Who killed your mother was a Jedi. He was a kind, brilliant, compassionate man. And he did a terrible thing. A rogue Jedi named Soul. Yeah, I knew she'd blame it all. Even though there's evidence otherwise. The High Council. We wholly condemn the actions of Master Soul. That might give me a second chance. chance though we cannot wait for a full sentence. A mistake he lived with for so long, it twisted his mind. He justified every selfish step with the love he had for your sister. Mm -hmm. She's not wrong. My sister? The Jedi have failed you. That is true. I am going to make this right. But I need your help. With what? I need you to help me find someone. Who? A pupil of mine. Before he turned to evil. They really flipped sides. This needs a second season, I'm sorry. Don't let the haters take it away. Like, I know he wants to be a Sith, or he is a Sith. Like, what is his purpose? What is she training with him for? To, like, kill the Jedi? Sorry to disturb you, Master. She's evil. We need to talk. Oh, <gasps> she's not evil. She's just a hyper devoted Jedi. You know, yeah, it would have been better if it was the little guy. <laughs> it would have been better if it was this little dude, but he's not alive yet. Mm. <laughs> he's always close. <laughs> if an episode gets too scary, I have him. Okay, I didn't like that episode. Now. I didn't not like the episode either. Like, this sounds stupid, but like, I didn't like it. I don't like how it happened. And I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was a bad show. I don't think they did it badly. I don't even think it was a betrayal of the characters or I guess I just, it's not how I wanted it to go. <laughs> so I don't like it, if that makes sense. Like, I also thought it was an amazing episode. So like, both things can somehow be true in this weird brain that I have. My biggest thing I don't like is I don't like Osha joining the dark side. Um, I don't like Osha killing soul like i think most realistically i could have seen i i kind of would have wanted her to take it to the brink of killing him and then not go through with it and then obviously then i guess the master wouldn't want her but something along those lines i feel like would be more true but then i do suppose when you think about the scale of the emotion she was feeling and has felt her entire life and it all comes down to him and then he's justifying it by saying he loves you even though he caused you all this pain like i i do actually think um i can't they didn't say her name again the green jedi i hate calling her the green jedi because they're a multiple green jedi lady um like she wasn't wrong when she said Sol was a good and compassionate man who made a mistake and then tried to justify it as the right thing ever since. Like, she's not wrong, that is a fairly accurate description of it. Um, and he should have faced some kind of Jedi justice, though he probably would have ended up facing this kind of Jedi, Jedi justice. Well, like, as in being accused of being a murderer rather than anything else. I don't, so I can kind of, I can understand Osha killing him. But what I wanted was for her and May to choose each other and get to be with each other wherever they were to go. And they can then choose to use the force whatever the fuck they wanted. But I hate the idea that she's with the evil guy. By choice. Now, it's kind of by choice and it's kind of to protect May. But I also think she's always been tempted by his offer. And by the power he can give her. She's been thor thoroughly betrayed by the Jedi and what they stand for. And the person closest to her within that order. I don't blame her for turning away to another side. It just... I hate that she's with someone that she watched, like, murder people, and people that weren't responsible. Like, Jackie and Yord didn't do anything. They didn't know about what happened on Brendok. They hadn't been Jedi enough. They weren't Jedi with enough power to have committed any of these things that Sol did. But she's still choosing to work with the guy that killed them in front of her? 
doesn't add up to me 100%. Now, I do think that part of her accepting to do it was because it meant he wouldn't try and kill May. May has freedom. And even May not remembering anything, it's neater for her to do this little thing where she blames everything on Sol. May might get an ordinary life out of this. Um, I do think Osha was doing it as, like, I didn't believe you and, like, you deserve a chance. I think that was part of it as well. And a huge part of it was definitely stopping him from killing May for failing him. But I wanted it to end with them together. Um, I didn't want it to end with Osha having killed Sol. Maybe screaming at him and telling him she hated him, fine. He made a terrible mistake. But I think something this show has done is it is true that the Jedi are not infallible. The Jedi aren't perfect. The Jedi have good intentions as a whole. The Jedi are a good order. I'm not against the Jedi by any Jedi by any means. But it's very easy as a fan base to idolise them because of what they stand for. Whereas the reality isn't always as shiny and rosy and there will have been numerous incidents throughout the history of the jedi where individual members or the order as a whole made a mistake or did something that wasn't right and often they will lie and cover it up because that's how this kind of order operates to keep itself going because it doesn't want outsiders coming in and auditing them now i don't think david Harewood's character was entirely wrong about the danger the jedi would pose like if one day the leadership of the jedi were to say like all of these people and all of their conflicts if we just assumed control of the galaxy ourselves everything would be cleaner and then just like dominatingly taking over the world it would have been very difficult to stop them so like he's not wrong but i also think the jedi never were going to pose that threat but how can you be 100 percent certain so back to the matters at hand soul ultimately saying it's okay what a complicated man he is because he made a huge mistake beyond anything we'd even thought he had made he there were so many things he could have done differently he should have told the truth to osha like yes she wouldn't have got to be a jedi but she would have had a life and she would have at least thought has known her sister didn't kill everyone the pain and the anger i think it's different like you still she would have had a life filled with pain and anger at the situation that it happened but it wouldn't have been anger at her twin and at herself for like she said like how i couldn't bring my like how could i believe or I, sh I could never reconcile that someone i loved could do something so terrible and it's because may didn't do something that terrible she wasn't capable of it like there weren't signs um so it's just like an absolute mess within the jedi itself and how they don't teach people how to deal with attachments and how to deal with mistakes and how to deal with these situations so then when they happen the jedi are like what the fuck do i do i'm going to do the worst thing possible so it's a huge mess now i i feel like that ending they were setting up for another season both her asking may to help find osha or to help find her padawan but um combined with her seeing yoda at the end we also didn't really get a clear-cut message on what osha's new master wants like he wants an acolyte to train under him does he just want to live on that place and train for the rest of their lives does he want to go and start conquering planets does he want to become a pirate does he want to kill all of the jedi what what does he want um because i feel like before i made any deals with him that would be what i would be trying to figure out and also like i feel like osha should have been like we will both go with you i will train with you and you won't kill me and then we can drop May off on a random planet somewhere. Would have also worked for me. Um, and then when his back was turned, she could do a little stabby stabby or a little choky choky because she's shown she doesn't mind doing that to people who deserve it. And like this man warped her sister's mind and turned her into a killer. Like, yes, those Jedi were bad people, but still he didn't need to like take a vulnerable May. I presume he found her on that planet because otherwise how the hell did she get off of Brendog? Um, but he took a vulnerable kid and raised her into a killer like killing him isn't again he deserves like prison time i don't believe in capital punishment but given the circumstances if she just killed him and then went and found may and they could live happily ever after like that would be a happy ending for me i suppose the jedi would probably still be after them but i don't know again i don't this is not a bad ending and it's not an ending that i don't think it makes sense for the characters but you know like it's sometimes you get an ending and you're like i feel satisfied and i have an ending where i'm like oh, i don't like it but I, I'm not going to go on to message boards and go rage because I do think that I can see where these characters were coming. And for the last episode or two, I have been increasingly concerned about Osha because, you know, a lot of what Jason Master says 
is true and makes sense and I could see it getting to her and all the trauma she's been through and having been lied to by the one person she trusted more than anything to believe that the other person she had trusted more than anything was evil really I can see why it would warp her in this way and why she would end up in this point and I think it would be very interesting to follow her character from this point onwards because it can go one of two ways with Osha she can either become evil and like revel in it and like lose herself to the darkness that is within her that all the trauma she's been through has has had i think she would always want to protect may but otherwise lose herself to the darkness or she can be, be wanting to get stronger she cannot take everything the jedi say as justified although i don't think like i i don't think she would so easily become just like moustache twirlingly evil so i'm intrigued to see where she would go from here I'd want to see her and Megan have a relationship again. What is May like without the burden of all the things she has been through? Like she has a degree of that burden, but not in the same way she did. Like what would happen? Um, I need another season. May and Osha finally her realizing. I mean, okay, yeah, Sol had to die, and I don't love that he died. But it kind of in that scene, you were like, Osha's gonna kill him, and she did it without a weapon. Though the Force is technically a weapon. Um, but. And she killed him with an arm, like she just broke all the Jedi rules, she made her choice. But I still kind of would have preferred an ending where her choice was to not be a Jedi or an evil Sith person. So I need another season. <laughs> because we also, they definitely were intending on another season because we didn't get a proper backstory with the green Jedi lady and her Padawan and like how, what went down between them, why she decided to kill him. Because that's not what you do with your average Padawan, so what was it? We didn't get with the creepy dude in the cave. Like, there's a lot of questions that we still have, and a lot of rich story potential to go. And that's why I'm almost sad Sol's not, like, Sol should be, like, in a prison somewhere, and he could, like, be in the next season, but... So I treasured the moments Osha and May had where they were actually talking. Um... I hate that it had to come about through Sol being killed by Osha, because I do think if she loses herself she won't feel regret if she doesn't lose herself she will come to feel regret for killing him not necessarily for her anger not for striking at him but i mean maybe she won't maybe she'll think it's justified because of what he did he called her mother she killed him even i don't know but if she keeps her good heart she will feel some degree of regret for it it's just like i think what stresses me out is that i don't know for certain if there's going to be another season and with all the hate this show got I'm worried there's not going to be another season and it needs one with how it ended for me to feel satisfied but this was a brilliant episode stakes wise and emotions wise and i like that this show yet again i mean it revealed that the jedi aren't perfect which the prequel series also did because we watched them fall apart like no order is going to be perfect no group of people will ever be perfect will ever always do the right thing so for the jedi to not be perfect makes total sense and I actually really enjoyed seeing it um, and seeing an earlier time period where they ha weren't fighting this war and they had their kind of more unquestioned power, but they were still tied into senates and everything. I loved Osha and May's characters. The little girl actresses did 10 out of 10 job. Um, and obviously a Mantle Stenberg was fantastic. Sol was brilliant. I think before the show came out, I read that he learned English in a couple of months for this part. Like, wow um like it was just it was very well done it was a fascinating story it's made me definitely think that i'm gonna have to check out the star wars books i mean like admittedly i'm looking at my tbr it's like multiple like i have too many books to read already but like i'm, I'm gonna have to because it's so fascinating i loved this show i will hopefully be around for a season two reactions but we we will see we will keep think i'll keep our fingers crossed also, they've announced that, like, the, this is totally unrelated, sort of, but the Grogu and Mandalorian movie isn't coming out until 2026. May, mid-2026. I'm meant to live that long without him. Um, that's off the topic. This was a fantastic, fantastic show. I loved it. Um, going into it, having just vaguely seen that there was a lot of hate about it, like, my mum would be like, oh, the new Star Wars show is getting a lot of hate, and then we, she, she looked into it. I obviously didn't. And she was like, oh, it, it's racist and sexist. <laughs> and we were like, oh but you know i was mildly concerned i was going to come across a show that was a letdown and i just did not i loved it so yes that was the acolyte reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my patreon and thank you so much for watching